The ILC itself, the conference, is very, very successful this year, which is uh, highlighted by the fact that we, for the first time, have over 10,000 participants, actually over 10,600 participants, a number we were never able to achieve before, and I think no other international liver meeting was ever able to achieve before. And if you look for the reasons why this is, this is probably a combination from uh, the terrific drug developments that we're seeing and the news that people want to hear, as well as the fact that EASL has been uh, setting up this meeting in a very good and professional way so that our audience really loves to come to this meeting. So Saturday is a very exciting day because both in general session three as well as in the late breaker session you will hear a lot of new data again on all oral hepatitis C treatments. In addition to that, in between these two events uh, we will launch the new online recommendations for hepatitis C treatment that EASL is putting on its website just now. And this is uh, a very short-term update of our newly published guidelines, but because drug development is happening so fast, we had to update our treatment recommendations within four months of the release of our guidelines. Now this is very important both for our patients as well as for the physicians treating them because as Euro Europe has such a heterogeneous uh, uh, landscape with regards to medical systems, with, with regards to insurance and reimbursement, you cannot give one type of recommendation for all of Europe because in some countries you have access to the newest drugs while in other countries you have access to two, two prior generations only. So, so here in these guidelines we formulated uh, different recommendations so that everyone can pick the ones that are most suitable for him and at the same time indicate to his regulatory agencies what would be the ideal situation uh, to reimburse.